Hi, this is Greg over DIY RV and Home, Camper's Life. Recently I received a set of wireless lapel mics from ZG Sign. Uh, this is the transmitter right here. Receiver is tied to the camera right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a distance test. They requested that I do that for them specifically. I've got some rocks set out in the distance at a 50 meters. And we're going to see how well these operate, see if they cut in or out. Now I do also have a, another uh, transmitter here that is actually tied into another uh, recording system. So as we go out, if I do lose anything off of this transmitter, I will still be able to pick it up on the other one. So um, if that does happen, I will make a note um, in the video uh, reflecting to the different uh, uh, mics that are in operation. Also, there is a little bit of wind going on today, so we're also checking how the wind is for outside. Um, and in the distance, as you see, I'm holding uh, my uh, drone uh, controls right here. I do have the Mavic Mini flying just outside of, uh, or just past that 50 meter. So as we get closer, we'll see how about ambient noises and stuff like that. Uh, surrounding noises uh, are affecting um, the sound quality. Uh, we've got birds chirping. We've actually got a lot of crickets out here. Uh, we're at Sucker Creek uh, Campgrounds um, in Oregon. A real beautiful place. Um, if you haven't been here, you ought to stop by. You know, it's worth it's worth a drive. Just beautiful. But anyways, let's get on into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk as I'm walking out um, to that 50 meters. I'll do some talking and then come back. And of course. Uh, you know, there's a good chance I'm going to cut out uh, when I'm facing away from the camera system, but um, we'll see. All right, so here we go. So yeah, this area right here, uh, Sucker Creek, is beautiful. Um, it's really close to the Idaho-Oregon border. Um, you have the availability to come in um, uh, just north of Jordan Valley or out of Adrian. Um, to come in to uh, this area. There's like four campgrounds on uh, one side of the creek. There's uh, 14 on the side that we're on. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Okay, sounds like I'm gonna have to uh, bring my drone in. So I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, go home. Go home. We're gonna stop that. And we're gonna drop it just because I'm right here. Okay, there we go. So now, I'm right at the rocks that I marked. So this is just about 51 meters, 52 meters actually, a little bit over. So I'll walk in a little bit closer and see. And now, I'm gonna start walking back and continue talking a little bit about this area right here. Um, trying to remember where I stopped. <laughs> uh, anyway, very beautiful rock formations. There's some real neat, uh, like uh, caves in the uh, faces of the rocks. The, uh, they find thunder rocks out here. Oh, the campground itself. So there's 14 campground sites on this side of the river, which is just a small stream. And uh, there's four on the other side. There's a vaulted toilet here. Um, and there is also a lot more uh, little pullouts where you can do some camping along the road out here and everything like this. Uh, it is dispersed camping. So, very beautiful, very beautiful. So, anyways, I'm coming up to the camera now. And, uh, we'll see how this um, comes out in editing. Hopefully this video will help you out on making your decision whether you want to pick up uh, this unit. Um, 